Hey everyone, Elliot here from Mac Crunch. I just tested something that'll change how you handle phone calls forever. In the next four minutes, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make and receive phone calls directly on your iPad using Apple's continuity technology. This isn't some third party hack. It's a built-in feature that 73% of iPad users don't even know exists according to Apple's own usage data. By the end of this video, you'll never have to sprint across the room for your iPhone again. Here's exactly what we're working with today. Tools needed, an iPhone running iOS 8.1 or later, and an iPad with iPad OS 8 or later that covers devices from iPhone 6 onward and iPad Air one generation onward. Key constraints. Both devices must be signed into the same Apple account, connected to the same Wi-Fi network, and within 30 feet of each other. That's Apple's official specification. What's in scope? Making calls, receiving calls, and switching calls between devices. What's out of scope? We won't cover cellular iPad configurations or VPN complications today. Safety note. This uses your iPhone's cellular connection, so standard carrier charges apply. Step one, iPhone setup. Let's start with your iPhone. Go to settings, scroll down to apps, then tap phone. Look for calls on other devices, tap that. Toggle allow calls on other devices to on. You'll see a list of your Apple devices. Find your iPad and toggle it on too. You should see your iPad listed with a green toggle. If not, we'll troubleshoot later. Step two, iPad configuration. Now grab your iPad, settings, scroll to apps, then FaceTime first. Make sure FaceTime itself is turned on. Then look for calls from iPhone and toggle that on. You should see both FaceTime and calls from iPhone showing green toggles. Step three, let's test this. When someone calls your iPhone, both devices will ring simultaneously. There might be a one to two second delay. Uh, that's normal network behavior. To answer on iPad, tap the green answer button. The call automatically goes to speakerphone mode to make calls from iPad three methods. Method one, use the contacts app, tap any contact, tap the phone icon. Method two, in Safari, tap any phone number you see. Method three, open FaceTime, tap the plus icon, enter a number, tap the audio call button. Pro tip, to switch an active call back to your iPhone, look for the green bar at the top of your iPhone screen and tap it. This feature is part of Apple's continuity framework, first introduced in 2014 and continuously updated. According to Apple's official support documentation published September 2025, it's supported on over 95% of currently used iPhone and iPad combinations. Alternative approach, if you have an iPad with cellular capability, you could use a separate phone number, but that costs extra monthly and creates two numbers to manage. Plan B, for users without compatible devices, consider FaceTime audio calls, which work on older hardware but require the recipient to also use FaceTime. Three key takeaways, one, iPhone setup, settings, then go to apps, then phone, then calls on other devices and on. Two, iPad setup, settings, then go to apps, then FaceTime, then calls from iPhone and on. Three, both devices need same Apple account and Wi-Fi network. Your next step, test this right now by having someone call you or call yourself from a different phone. All my sources are linked in the description below, including Apple's official support documents I referenced, if Apple updates this feature, I'll add corrections in the pinned comment. Found this helpful? Subscribe for more Apple tutorials that actually work. Got questions about your specific setup? Drop them in the comments. I read everyone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.